It has been a crazy, crazy day for me. And I know as I go through the story, some of you are gonna say, oh, Bo, that's not a big deal. I deal with that every day. That's not so big, but you know what? This is about me right now. I mean, you've had your time. Mom always liked you best. You got to sit in the front seat. This is my- All right, so mental breakdowns aren't pretty, but there's a good reason for this one. And it starts with what's behind me. You might've noticed a large black cylindrical object. So allow me to introduce you to my little friend. So some of you might look at me and say, Bo, why did you need an 80 gallon air compressor? It's not really much of a uh, you know consumer type product. And you know what? I gotta say, you're right, it's not. It's more of like a heavy duty tool. Uh, to be honest with you, um, I, had to, I had to get this 80 gallon air compressor. And the reason I had to is I also purchased a CNC plasma table from Arclight Dynamics. It's, it's not a small purchase. It's actually a pretty darn big investment. So I got a phone call from the driver today. Hey, I'm on the road. I'm gonna be there tomorrow at noon to drop off the table. I'm going, I don't have any way to get this thing off. I've got a wrecker that's gonna come. We're going to take the table off the semi. We're gonna roll it onto the flatbed tow truck. He's hopefully gonna be able to back up into my driveway and we're gonna roll it down or we're gonna drop it off the truck and there goes a bunch of money. I don't know, we're gonna find out what happens. So the next day comes, the truck arrives three hours late and the first thing I've gotta do is make sure to inspect everything to ensure nothing was damaged in transit. Now we gotta offload this sucker. And that's a long way down, long way down. The first thing to do was lighten the load a bit by pulling off all the boxes from the table. I was lucky to have my buddy Chris around to help me get that done. Shortly after, the flatbed tow truck arrived and he pulled into place and raised his bed, which would allow us to roll the table off of the box truck. It wasn't easy, but we got it done using safety straps on the bed of the tow truck to mitigate any runaway plasma table situations. After that, it was time for the tow truck to pull into my driveway. We carefully lowered the plasma table down the ramp, and even though it got a little bit cockeyed, we managed to get it into the garage without a problem. Here's the plasma table in all of its glory. I've got that, and I've got a bunch of brown boxes. Santa Claus came early this year for me. Actually, Santa Claus came for the last time for me, <laughs> given how, uh, how much these suckers cost. So this is the Last visit from Santa. So I got a manual. I think it's safe to say there is some assembly required. I should probably read that. Instead of jumping in with both feet without reading the instructions, which I'm gonna do. Whoops. Gotta have the right tool for the job. I actually need three hands to do this, but I am the right tool. And this would be, this is a control cabinet. I see wires. So I will um, probably deal with mounting this to that bracket that we saw over there uh, just a little bit ago. So I think that's project number one. I guess when they're getting these tables ready for shipment, they do a couple test cuts uh, to make sure that's working well. So I got a few little uh, cool pieces. A little welding tab to cut out. These guys must like beer. Another cool little Arclight logo uh, beer opener type thing. So, pretty cool. Mission control. This is Houston. So let's see if we can kind of see what's, what's in this. Looks like some power cables. Power strip, X, Y, Z axis. Uh, all right, I'm gonna poke, oh, what the? Look at that, I got, I got a cool arc light hat, I had no idea.
Okay, so this is actually going faster than I thought it was. Uh, I got the cabinet mounted uh, to the table. Ooh, look, emergency. Stop, stop. So I got it mounted, uh, and so now it's time to, um, I got it mounted, so now it's time to get the uh, monitor, which I didn't think I'd need for a while, but I need it. I need it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a monitor. There you go. Let's see what is in this one. I see foam. I hate peanuts. I got this, which is probably something. It's, uh, oh, I got a mouse. I bet that's a keyboard. This feels a little thick. This, I'm taking uh, software and a manual. Oh. Oh, a mouse pad. Oh, that's kind of cool. They're toners. They're running out of some toner. Uh, this is gonna be close to 100 pages of evening reading. My company name, that's pretty sweet. What do we got in here? We got, uh... oh, okay, keys for the cabinet. But that's keys for that lock right there. Now last night, I was up till 1 a.m., but I managed to get pretty much all the boxes unpacked except for the plasma cutter. It's the business end uh, of this table. I'm gonna have to pull you off the tripod, I think. It looks like the machine is in here. Uh, some plastic formed in caps. Oh, the plasma cutter. It's actually pretty light. This here. Oh, it came with a plug. So this is a 220. I didn't know if it would be with a plug or just a bare end. Uh, looks like that's some, um, that's everything that was in the box. So that's, that's pretty cool. There is no better way to ensure the feat uh, of uh, a project than actually videotaping it. And now we are going to turn it on. I got a special key, which is kind of cool. Unlock that and open her up. Because we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn the power strip on. Well, we got some action on the monitor. Step two was to go ahead and turn on the um, computer module. Step three or four, shoot, I don't know at this point, uh, is the power controller for the motors. So we're gonna go ahead and turn those on. Plasma profile. Plasma profile, plasma profile. I'm gonna go with P2 plasma, how about that? And then sh we should be able to jog this sucker, so let's, oh. Oh yeah, baby. We got a heartbeat. So it's been quite a day at uh, Casa Mountain Works. Uh, there's been a lot going on actually this entire weekend. Um, if you remember from the video where I did the electrical, I left a lot of the 240 plugs a lot. I have like three. Uh, I left the 240 plugs uh, covered with just a plate on them because I didn't know how we were going to wire them in. Uh, we worked on doing that and getting the grounding uh, done. So let me take you around and kind of show you what, what we did. Uh, I needed to uh, make a earth ground connection that was close to the table, that was solid, uh, and that was going to introduce as little interference into uh, the cutting process as, as possible. So. Uh, you would think that you would just need like a little three foot rod going into the ground. Oh no, uh, I guess a, a solid earth to ground rod needs to be six or seven feet long. Uh, so uh, we ended up uh, cutting through the garage floor with a hammer drill. Uh, and then we, we started uh, hammer drilling this giant seven foot rod into the ground. And uh, on top of that, uh, I had to add in a, another outlet for the plasma cutter, because uh, where I ended up putting the plasma cutter, the uh, extension cord was not long enough. Uh, so not a big deal, just went ahead and put in a, um, uh, another outlet, and the plasma cutter was able to reach that just fine. Uh, sorry, I know it kind of looks like a dumpster fire in here. I've been going through manuals and just trying to get all set up. So um, I got the plasma cutter set up, um, got electrical going, I've got air kind of going. Uh, I've got a welding tab kind of loaded up here on the uh, table and we're going to go ahead and uh, run this sucker and see what she does.
That was awesome. I think it's working. So I was able to cut out a welding tab, which uh, was a piece of software or uh, a DXF file that came uh, with the table uh, that they used to test it um, before they shipped it to me. Uh, but the real test is to see if it'll cut out something that I designed all on my own. And so that's what I've got here. With the Thanksgiving holiday coming up, I put together a little give thanks uh, sign that I uh, am gonna put on a USB drive and take out to the table and see if it'll cut it out. So now I'm out here in the garage. I took uh, that USB key and loaded it up on the computer uh, here. I first loaded it into Sheet Cam. Uh, it takes that, um, that graphic design that I did and uh, is able to turn it into something called G-Code, um, which you'll see right here on the left. This is what the table actually reads. Uh, this gives it X and Y coordinates, how to move, how fast to move. So basically this is just all the instructions for the computer and there's many, many lines of, of code there for it to go through. Turn that silliness off. All right, uh, dang, looks like it worked. And it's not hot, because it's been over water, but uh, I would say that is success. So that's pretty much it. I've got the table in, I've got it plugged in, and it's cutting stuff that I designed. I'm gonna focus for the next couple weeks in trying to learn the software, because uh, that's really gonna be the key to being able to design cool stuff that I don't even know I can design yet. Thanks for watching, appreciate it, and hope to see you next time.